Hey YouTube, this is Eric again. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the, uh, well, as you can see, Grimstone and the Dinobots. I um, want to apologize, I haven't been putting up reviews lately because um, I'm waiting on my Nightmare for Annihilator and I had it shipped from TF Source. And usually I get it in three days. You know, my wife ordered the 18th, I should have had it for Christmas. And today is January 4th and it's supposed to be coming today. But, you know, I don't really feel like waiting for it, so I'm just going to. Put out a review I had been meaning to do. Um, these again are the Dinobots, but not the Dinobots that we're used to. Um, of course, this is Power Core Combiner. I don't understand any of the storyline for this line. I mean, I have vague. I know it's about Combiner technology and shit like that, but I mean, it's everything is just so vague. It's all new characters. It seems like except for like Huffer and maybe a couple of homages, but um, everything is just. Uh, new, you know, so uh, I'm gonna start with the drones. Uh, the drones don't don't have any names. It's you know just a Pachycephalosaurus, and uh, again keeping the theme, all these uh, drones are dinosaurs, and it you know uh, have the dino the typical Dinobot color with the uh, red highlights and gold, and uh, gray and silver and blue eyes, which I really like. Uh, so that's the Pachycephalosaurus. This is the Parasaurolophus. Also has the blue eyes, you know, gunned up. It's cool. Um, the Ankylosaurus. Lots of guns. Uh, not much articul articulation in this guy. He moves his head though. Uh, but again, same general color scheme. And the Dimetrodon, which is far on the package they have him labeled as a Spinosaurus, but he's not. This is a Dimetrodon, and I think this isn't even a dinosaur. Kind of like how they said the uh, Pterodon isn't a dinosaur anymore. I don't think this was a dinosaur, but um, he he also has guns, but they're just really small and not painted. Uh, but he's not as well armed as the other ones. So. I really do like these uh, drones. I mean, I'm not mad that they don't transform because, you know, drones don't. Uh, but they look good in, in and of themselves. Now, Grimstone is a little guy, and he's a different story. I'm not that fond of him. Um, as a as a body, you know, as the guest all body, he looks good. But on his own, the robot mode is very, very average. And the thing that most people are going to complain is it's hard to get his shoulders to move because there's so much of a clearance issue back here and you, you can kind of see it this gun it is really this that gets in the way with this back leg kibble and he can't really move it all that well I mean, unless he like moves his arms inside himself like you know to go like that it's not gonna happen also his hands are not really well defined so it's another uh, negative for this guy uh, very generic face, you know, but again, the colors are spot on, and you know, even the all spark blue from the port, it really doesn't hurt that bad. So, I'm gonna transform this guy real quick, um, push these things back in, and uh, the transformation is relatively simple, everything just kind of folds up in on itself, and there we go. Get everything to click into place there. Um, these legs spin around. And kind of come back like that. You take his tail, which has the mini com port on it, pull it out, and next is uh, his hands, was well, front legs, which have some clearance issues a little bit. But that's uh, basically it. And again, he does have the uh, all spark blue ports that just kind of stick out. And uh, this is him as a Triceratops. Um, no, I don't think he's a Triceratops. I think he's Starachosaurus or something like that. Um, which, you know, I know I might get a lot of comments telling me what the different dinosaurs were. I just know it has horns and it walks on four legs. So, you know, Starachosaurus, Triceratops, whatever the hell it is, that's what it is. Uh, he's the leader in. Something that really, you know, confused me was why is he a Triceratops and um, not the Tyrannosaurus, you know, that Grimlock was. Well, it's not Grimlock, it's Grimstone, but, I mean, even still, I mean, I don't like for him to be a raptor or, you know, I, I just can't see a Triceratops being a leader 
of the Dinobots. But again, this is all new fiction. I don't know what's going on in the fiction, you know, it, you know, whatever. Um, so there he is as a Triceratops. Pretty good detail. I mean, I'll, I'll have his little uh, drones join him so you can see all the dinosaurs together. All right. And the funny thing about it is, is uh, as as dinosaurs, he's the weakest one because uh, it's mainly his legs. You know, just don't look right, and, and his tail is too short. Uh, it's something about him; it just does not look right. Uh, it looks okay, you know, it looks pretty good with everybody else, but it's just he's the weakest link of all the dinosaurs. Um, but he makes for a fantastic, fantastic combiner core. Uh, which is, you know, what you're going to ask for out of uh, a leader. So, let's uh, flip these back around. I'm going to get him in his uh, combiner mode. Uh, everything stays pretty much the same. That's my phone. If you could hear it, my dad's calling me. I'll get back to him. All right. Now, this part can be a little tricky because you have to... There you go. Got to get that right almost perfect all right um next kind of like huffer you're gonna try to match this with a little post right there and the same thing right here it's not a not a tough transformation at all there's actually the kind of transformations i like where it's not really tough at all okay now if i can remember yeah these push all the way up like that and that is uh basically his combiner body uh, I like the little hat uh, somebody made a joke about it looking like a Pope hat kind of does but you know I, I like it looks uh looks really good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine him uh, he's a arm uh, this guy yeah, he's a leg um with this guy kind of have to get it, the transformation process started you gotta push this down yourself um, and just get it in there okay gotta hold it down because it does want to pop up and this is I don't like this about the power core combiners I don't like the connection system because it's so tough for me to get it on it's probably just me because I've never seen anybody else have this much trouble Hey, go getting that stuff on, but probably it's just me. All right, it's one foot. Um, this guy, I think, is the other foot. So push that tail down, and let's get in there. Again, you kind of gotta help get it started. I'm assuming goodness come on power core combiner I, I suck at getting these things to go in but I'm doing it the right way I'm pretty sure I might have to do a take two on this one I never do take twos all right well look I'll just get it started only way I can see all right one foot and with me it really I don't care what leg goes where really uh, two there we go all right all right there are his feet good hopefully the arms don't give me that much trouble though which i have a feeling that they might let's see let's raise the camera i have a feeling these arms will give me trouble just one i like his little claw hand and it's pretty funny. Uh, his hole is kind of like, I guess, in the vag area. I don't know. But there we go. And there you have it. Now, one thing about the legs on this guy, um, there's a lot going on back there. However, however, that's not bad. Because, you know, these power core combiners are notorious for just falling over. This guy will not fall over. I mean, especially with this huge tail back there, this guy isn't going anywhere. Which means that you can get him in some, you know, really good poses. Let me 
Get that closed up. You can get him in some really, really pretty good poses. Um, and he is he is pretty posable. Um, you know, the stand the standard uh, poses, elbow art, not no elbow articulation. That's the problem. Uh, pretty much everything else is is kind of articulated though. Uh, he even does have that little opening hand, which can open and close, which is a mouth, but you know whatever. Um, Size comparison. The only thing I really have on hand is um, Fans Project Rodimus, and you know this guy's a little bit shorter than him, so he's a little bit shorter than the Voyager, um, but you know pretty typical for the power core combiners. And just for the hell of it, here is next to uh, the G1 Grimlock and Classic Grimlock. So, there they are kind of standing together. Uh, very good figure. Probably the best in the Power Core Combiner line. And if you could tell from my videos, I'm a pretty big Power Core Combiner fan, even though they don't necessarily like me. Uh, I like them. So, I, I highly recommend this guy. He's definitely my favorite Power Core Combiner at the moment. Uh, yeah, so, we'll see how things look when Heavy Tread or whatever the tank one comes out. Uh, we'll see if that changes, but right now, this is the power core combiner to get and I've had him for a long time just never bothered to do a review on him but here it is highly recommended so that's about it you guys peace